We would be honored if you would join us. How's it going everyone? I'm Sir James coming at you guys with yet another exciting video as I was given the opportunity courtesy of Hasbro to give you guys an early look at an upcoming Star Wars Force Effects Elite lightsaber for none other than the Dark Lord of the Sith himself, Darth Vader. That is right, a new FX Elite lightsaber joining the lineup and this item is going to be releasing this year in fall of 2022. Now do keep in mind that the product that I'm showing today is an early preview of it so therefore there might be some changes in its final design when it releases to the public. So first things first let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging that you can expect when this releases. And man oh man this definitely screams dark side for sure and it's always fun to see Star Wars packaging and I really love the nice image of Darth Vader himself on the left hand side of the box. And of course on the back you're going to have all the detailed information of its features which I'll be showcasing in today's video and what you can expect inside the packaging. All right, now that we got the packaging out of the way, what exactly do you get inside the box? Well, of course, you're gonna get your standard paperwork such as product information, and of course, a nice instruction which is gonna be providing information on both the front and backhand side. Do keep special note for the battery compartment for when you need to change your batteries. Next up, you're also gonna be getting, as you would expect, your display stand, which will be coming inside the box as two separate pieces. In order to attach, just simply bring the plastic piece over and slide down and you're good to go. You're also gonna be receiving one Kyber crystal, which you can go ahead and insert into the hilt or leave out as a display piece. You're also gonna get this little tool here, which is gonna be very important to remove a piece in the hilt to either insert your Kyber crystal or your lightsaber blade. Speaking of lightsaber blade, of course, as to be expected, you have your lightsaber blade, which also as a bonus even says Darth Vader here towards the very bottom. Now do keep in mind that the blade in total from the bottom to tip is going to be at 36 inches. However, once inserted into the hilt, you're gonna have about almost 33 inches of exposed blade to mess around with. And last but most importantly is of course Darth Vader's hilt inside the box as well. And this thing is definitely a very beautiful hilt indeed. And of course, as always, you can expect to be able to wear it on your belt if you wish or keep it as a display item indeed. Now let's go ahead and put it all together. If you wish to insert your kyber crystal into the hilt, do keep in mind that you will need to use the included plastic piece, which what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be using this tool to remove the metal ring on the very top here, as that's gonna give us a little bit more clearance in order to do what we need to do. Once you go ahead and loosen it, which is very easy and it's just a little snug fit, you're gonna go ahead and put that off to the side, take your crystal and insert it into the corresponding slots it should only go in one way. And if it doesn't uh, work the uh, first time around, just simply flip it around and you're good to go. Once the crystal is inside, you're gonna go ahead and push down and twist to lock it in place. Go ahead and bring the piece that you just removed, insert it back to the very top here. Take the tool, go ahead and use that to tighten, but don't over tighten, just enough to where it's gonna sit there perfectly fine and you are good to go. When the crystal is inserted into the hilt, you're actually going to have a very distinct sound when you turn the saber on, and you're just gonna have a little bit of light emanating from the very tip. In fact, let's go ahead and take a closer look in the sound. While yes, when the kyber crystal is inserted into the hilt, you're not really getting much exposure to the crystal itself. However, it's more of acting as an important feature, which is simply protecting your lightsaber from any form of dust when it's on your display shelf. Now, if you wish to insert the blade, it's pretty much the same exact method, except the first thing you're gonna have to do is to remove the crystal to do this step. Simply go ahead and take the tool as before, simply remove the ring in the emitter, go ahead and undo the crystal, by pushing down and untwisting the opposite direction to safely remove it. Go ahead and bring your blade. Do keep note that there's gonna be two little tabs here. One is a little bit larger than the other. In fact, it's actually marked for you in terms of what is the right side and what is the left side. Simply look inside the hilt to see where the pieces line up. Put the pieces in, simply push down and twist to lock the blade in place because the last thing that we want is for the blade to be flying away. 
go ahead and bring your little ring here, slide it down from the blade. Same thing with the tool, go ahead and slide this down the blade as well to tighten the pieces up. And just like that, you are now good to go and ready to use your lightsaber for any form of action or cosplaying purposes. All right, now that your blade is fully assembled, let's go ahead and take a look at the electronic features that the Vader Elite Saber tends to offer. Starting off with the activation, you're simply going to look towards the middle section where the control box is at, and there's gonna be this little toggle switch that's on a little bubble strip looking piece. You're simply going to press in an upward motion to activate and simply pressing down in the opposite direction to deactivate like so. Now, do you know that my camera may make the blade appear to be an orangish color, but believe me in person, this is a nice Sith red option in a low light conditions like this, or even at night to illuminate your area even further. And to deactivate, simply go in the opposite direction as so. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the electronic features, starting with the first one called Dual Effect. Now the Dual Effect will actually go off in two different sequences. The first one is when your blade is simply colliding with another object, while the second one is more for a locked up intense moment when you and another lightsaber are clashing with one another and to see who's going to win in terms of strength. So first off, to activate once again, and the first effect is again, simply colliding with another object. In this example would be my hand, but in your example would probably be another lightsaber. And there's about three distinct sounds that will activate each time. The second one is more of a locked up feature and there's actually gonna be a hidden button towards the back in the upper portion of the saber by simply holding that down will activate the lock up effect, which is gonna be taking place towards the center of the saber like so. So think of an instance where you are dueling someone and you're simply locking blades and then you win in terms of strength. Simple as that. The next one is going to be a blaster deflect and what's really cool is that on the blade you are going to see a little light up effect that's going to generate randomly across the blade and this is going to be an example of where if you were simply deflecting blaster bolts. So let me go ahead and activate them now and for this one you're simply going to press the black button down. You don't have to hold the button or anything just simple presses. You can go either slow or quicker depending on what kind of effects you desire. And as you can hear, there's various uh, sounds for the blasters that will activate upon pressing the button. And as I stated, you could also get a little bit crazy into it by going a lot faster. Maybe you're just really good with the deflecting blasters. All right, so the next sequence after that is going to be the wall cutting. And this is gonna be different effects that we've seen numerous times in not only the films, but also the Clone Wars animated series. So a couple of examples here would be Star Wars Episode One with Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan, where the negotiations were pretty short, but Qui-Gon Jinn was slicing through a door. Uh, another instance would be a deleted scene from Star Wars Episode Three, as Obi-Wan and Anakin made their escape from the droid forces, and so many more. So for this one, is going to be relatively simple to activate. Uh, you're going to be using the little black button on the back here once again, but instead of holding your saber in more of an upward motion, you're going to want to tilt it very slightly so it kind of activates the effect, and you're simply going to hold down the button once again. Let me go ahead and switch over so that way you can see what I'm talking about. So instead of an upward motion like I'm doing now, you're going to want to tilt it, tilt it just slightly and then hold down the button. So those moments where you need to do a little bit of escape or just have a little bit of fun. And then of course make your escape or whatever the case may be. And the last one is actually a battle mode sequence. And this one incorporates, um, uh, well in order to activate you simply have to use the blaster mode. But when you get to the fourth click, you actually hold it in. And what it's gonna do is it's going to create a battle sequence that this will take place. Now, do keep in mind that when the sequence goes off, you don't have to press anything else. However, if you wish to activate the sequence, which is not very long in the first place, you could go ahead and simply just press a button to deactivate it as early on as possible if you wanted to. So for this one, again, you're just gonna go one, two, three, hold down. and it's gonna be doing it all by itself.
And as you can see, the sequence doesn't last too long, but one of the fun things you can do is to simply learn the sequence by heart and incorporate it with a friend and kind of make some fun video content with that. So with that, let's go ahead and remove everything and take a final look at the rest of the items. If you wish to remove the blade, simply do what you did before, but in the opposite direction. So in this case, go ahead and reset our tool here. Go ahead and loosen the piece. Bring the ring down the blade. Go ahead and press down to unlock and to detach safely. Bring your crystal, go ahead and reinsert it. So that way we can go ahead and protect this in form of any form of dust. Bring the ring over. Insert, twist and lock. And now you are ready to go. And last but not least is the display stand, D-ring, and where exactly do you access the battery compartment? The display stand is very easy to use. Simply take your saber, place it onto the display stand like so, and it can be facing any general direction for your display purposes. As far as being able to take the saber on the go, if you wish to clip it onto a belt, it does have, of course, a usable D-ring presented here on the very top portion, and that is essentially it. As far as the batteries, do keep in mind the instructions are very important for this as I left this here. Uh, you are simply going to remove the screw here in order to remove the pommel and the Sabre is going to be using a total of three AA batteries. And there you have it. That was an early preview of the Force FX Black Series Elite Darth Vader's lightsaber by Hasbro. Again, this product is going to be releasing in fall of 2022 for the corresponding price as below. If you wish to know more product information on where to pre-order, you're going to find that information provided in the video description as well. Once again, thank you for Hasbro for this great opportunity to showcase an early look at this product. I'm excited for the release. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Until then, always remember, may the force be with you.